What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to compare decibel numbers. We're going to start today with a green chili challenge and we have 3.5 versus 3.56. Now when we're comparing any numbers, whether that's decimals or whole numbers, we need to know what symbols we're going to use to compare. Well luckily we have three very useful symbols. We have the greater than symbol which shows that something on the left hand side is greater than the value on the right hand side we have the less than symbol which shows whatever's on the left hand side is less than whatever's on the right hand side and then our last one can you guess it that's right it's our equals sign which shows that something on the left has the same value as whatever is on the right and we can remember these little symbols because they almost look a little bit like crocodiles Imagine a crocodile would want to eat the bigger value. So the one with the gap where the crocodile's teeth would be, that points to the biggest value. And our equal sign is obviously just an equal sign. So let's keep that there to remind us of what to do today. And we're looking back at 3.5 compared to 3.56. Well, what are we going to use to help us here? Well, we need a place value chart because as we can see, my 3.5 only has one digit after the decimal, but my 3.56 has two. So in order to compare, I need to make sure they have the same amount of digits after the decimal. So I can do that using my place value chart. I have ones, decimal place, tenths, one hundredths in this case. And 3.5 would look like this, and my 3.56 would look like that. But look, I have this gap. So what am I going to use to fill this gap? That's right, I'm going to use a placeholder. That zero does not change the value of that number 3.5. It just fills a gap in my place value chart. If you don't understand that, go back onto this channel and look at the video about understanding decimals and understanding the value of each digit in each decimal place. So now that we put this placeholder in place, I can clearly see that 3.50 has 50 hundredths but 3.56 has 56 hundredths, so therefore 56 hundredths is larger, so I would write my answer like this. 3.5 is smaller than 3.56. Get myself a tick. And you can see I used the less than symbol. An orange chili challenge then, this is a bit harder. I'm going to need a bigger place value chart with tens, ones, a decimal, tenths, hundredths, and a thousandths. 21.505 would be 21.505. Or in other words, 21 and 505 thousandths. And now I have 21.58, 21.58. But again, I have this gap that's going to get filled with a placeholder. So in other words, I have 21 and 580 thousandths. So now if I'm looking at the amount of thousands I have, in the top number I have 505, but in the bottom number I have 580. So which one's larger? Well, obviously the 580 has more thousands than 505. So how do I rewrite this? I'm going to say 21.505 is less than 21.58. Or I could say... 21.58 is greater than 21.505. Both correct. My red chili challenge then looks super simple because we've got very small numbers, but let's have a look at it. And again, I'm going to use my place value chart to help me. I have ones, decimal, tenths, one hundredths, and a thousandths. Put back my numbers 0 0.01 is zero ones. 0 tenths and 1 one hundredth and 0 0.001 is 0 tenth is 0 ones put by my decimal 0 tenths 0 hundredths but a 1 in the thousandths column now when I put my placeholder in place I can see that the top number has 10 one thousandths and the bottom number only has 1 one thousandth so which one is bigger obviously 10 is larger than 1 so therefore 0 0.01 is greater than 0 0.001 
or in other words 0 0.001 is less than 0 0.01 both correct so your turn here are three sets of numbers to compare use the same process we just did by creating a place value chart and putting in your placeholders when you've got an answer put the answers in the comment section I'm going to try and mark every single one good luck and there you have it that is how to compare decimal numbers hopefully this video has been helpful for you if it was think about subscribing to the channel or even better flick on over to the mathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about maths but for now guys I'm going to see you in another video peace out